I'll never be the loudest person in the room, and so I just try to lead by example. You can just tell she's a leader and she works hard and, and everyone respects her in that aspect. I think she has the confidence that she understands what her talents allow her to do. She doesn't even know how good she is or can be. My name is Jackie Young. I'm a professional basketball player, and this is No Days Off. I started playing when I was uh, four or five years old. I just wanted to do whatever my brother did. He'd be outside in the backyard playing, and I just wanted to play with him. He never took it easy on me. I wouldn't want him to do that. He'd beat me a lot, and then I finally got to the point where I could start beating him. And so he really just helped me work on my game and to be the player that I am today. I think it got more serious when I was probably in fifth grade, and that's when we had like school ball. I think I first found out about Candace Parker about that age, and I had her posters, the Tennessee, I was a huge fan. That's whenever I just wanted to really focus on basketball, and I had dreams of playing in the WNBA. We're simulating the defender cutting her off, keeping that dribble, and redrive it to the rim. Good. Good. Nice. Good. I met Tyler last year. We just connected and we made a, f a few tweaks on my shot and that's how we really got close. We spent a lot of time in the gym before practice, after practice. I'm just getting a lot of reps up and um, that's really how we developed our relationship. If I could describe Jackie in a few words, I would say uh, confident, versatile, uh, and gifted. Her work ethic is second to none. She wants to get better and she stated that from day one and we've just kind of established a relationship and moved forward since. On the retreat, not here, okay? Retreat, so we see everything. Four. Oh! oh. Hey. One of the biggest improvements I made was my three-point shot, because in the past I could be wide open and I wouldn't shoot it. And so now it was just taking the open shot and actually making them. And I really have to give a lot of credit to him because he's the one that helped me with my shot. He's the one that spent a lot of time in the gym with me just making sure that I felt good, because <laughs> I'm not gonna leave the gym until I, until I feel good mentally, and so he would spend hours with me in the gym. She raised her shooting percentage a good amount. She took more threes. She developed more confidence in herself, and I think a lot of that had to do with not just the time that she put in, but with our new coaching staff in place. We need to play quick games to one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do it. I've been beating Jackie, like, all offseason. Oh, he hit me! Oh, he hit me! He hit me! He hit me! <laughs> Two. One. That's game. Nice job. Jackie's from the country. She's from Indiana, so there's country music playing in here almost, almost every day throughout the week. So I'm cool with it. She's cool with it. Some of the other coaches may not be. Country music, um, I love it. And so we're trying to get a few others to start liking it. But no, uh, we just play different music throughout the week. And you guys happen to be here on a Thursday, so we weren't going to switch it up, you know? My experience uh, with winning gold is a little bit different than anyone else's. I was actually on vacation and I got a call at about 10 p.m. on a Saturday and uh, the, I, the, the number wasn't saved and I was like, huh, maybe I should answer this. I think I had maybe one practice before we started our games and I can tell you that I've never been more nervous in my life. I uh, couldn't even sleep like the day before or the day of the games. Once you start playing, those nerves kind of leave. It's just like the build up before, but once you get on the court, you're good. It was a great opportunity. Bringing a championship to Vegas, it was definitely a fun experience. We had been kind of close the past few years that this is what we wanted. Uh, we knew that this is our goal since we've gotten here was to bring a championship to Vegas. And so to be able to do that was definitely a dream come true. I'm in the gym for my basketball workout. It starts at 7.15, right after from 9 to 10, and then the rest of my day is pretty much recovery. Good. That's it. Nice work. Nice work. She just comes in and wants to work. Uh, she wants to work hard. Uh, she pushes me as a coach to make sure I'm pushing her hard. She asks great questions. I think she's really in tune to kind of everything that's going on and how she thinks that's going to help her prepare for the for the upcoming season. Uh, some of my goals uh, whenever I first met Becky this off season were to just get stronger, to stay lean, you know, just be more explosive and to just be in the best shape ever. I love being in great shape and I'll do whatever to be in great shape. She wants to be pushed. So if she's not being pushed hard enough, she's kind of asking why. 
and that's kind of where uh, I'm always being challenged to make sure I'm giving her that hard push at the end. You can just kind of see that she, she likes to lead by example, and I can kind of just see that on the court. I get my work ethic from my grandpa. My grandpa was in the military, and he fought during the Korean War. He was also a family person, so I think that's what makes our family so close today. Just putting people first, you know, putting others first, and just being super unselfish, you know, I think those are kind of traits that we got from him. No days off mean to me is that you're just, you're dialed in, right? Whether no days off is working hard in the gym every single day, working on your technique, or allowing yourself to have that mental break. To me, that's kind of the whole picture, is you're just all in, whatever you gotta do to make yourself better. She literally does not take any days off. If she's not in the gym, she's still, she's doing Pilates, she's strength training, she's doing some kind of treatment, make sure she's maintaining her body, she eats right off the court, so she, she does the things that, everything that you're supposed to do as a pro, she handles herself as a professional. That's some things that you can't teach at times, it's some things that, as a coach, that you don't really have control of. She's a pro on and off the court, and for her, that's what no days off means. Being one of the hardest workers in the gym, uh, just being super disciplined and just staying on task, being willing to play wherever to help my team win. Thanks to everyone for watching my video. To check out more stories like mine, make sure to like and subscribe.